Hey guys, what is up? This video is for all my killjoys out there, which apparently I can't be a part of. So, if you guys don't know, lately I've been posting a lot of MCR content, a lot of Gerard Way content, and a lot of people are very, very mad about it. And at first I thought, oh, it's just like a little hate, it'll die down, it's like not that big of a deal, but like, holy shit, you guys, is this a really big deal? Like, oh my god, like I've never gotten so much hate in my life. Okay, so a couple things I want to say, first of all, is I'm not a poser. Obviously, MCR is my era. I'm an old-ass bitch. I'm 31. I'm going to be 32 this year. Like, this is my era. I've always liked them. You can Google my name with my MCR. I've done dance video routine videos for them years ago. I did a whole um, um, Helena-inspired music video last year with Six Feet Under. I obviously recreated one this year. I've, like, definitely have stand them hardcore um, I guess just recently, you know, I have been really feeling their music again, like not a big deal, but even if I was a newfound fan, right? Like I'm like into them because they're reuniting or returning. Like why, why isn't the MC army like welcoming people? Like, I don't understand that. Why, like, why am I getting rejected? Because like I was controversial back in the day. I said a lot of stupid ignorant things when I was young, but like, I don't get like why I get so much hate. Like, aren't you all supposed to be like accepting and like, oh yeah, we we're, we are the outsiders. We are the broken, you know, like we accept you. So it just feels really weird. And I know that sounds like really melodramatic. Maybe because it's like late at night and I'm like, wow, even like MCR fans don't accept me. Like this sucks. Like, and like, I really don't care that like most of it, but like, it's crazy. The amount of the, the things I get, the hate comments I get, I'm literally just going to go ahead and pull some, like, I'm just going to pull up my most recent photos of Gerard or whatever the case is, or even for my YouTube videos, you guys can read them. It's insane insane the amount of hate that is on there so I'm not really sure where it comes from why I can't be like a fan whether I was whether I did just figure find them out or I've been a stan for a while like I don't understand why I, I'm not allowed to post this stuff but like other people are it's very very bizarre um I don't ever say anything disrespectful like I literally have tickets to seven of their seven cities of their tour so like I'm just I'm really confused <laughs> It's really weird and then like I know I see some clapbacks of people being like oh well like emos don't like preps It's like I'm not a prep. I'm not I, I've never had friends like I've I don't consider myself an emo I don't consider myself a prep. I don't consider myself anything like I've always been kind of just like a weird person My entire life that people don't understand and like obviously still people don't because they're like nope Like people even said like they don't even want you to be They're like they'll be like this is just, anyways. Let's just read these hate comments because what else? This is all I do is like I'm just like this is all the comments I get there was one really crazy DM and then we'll get to the comments. But this one is from Demolition Lovers. And they have, oh, they also follow me. They have 12,000 followers. They're pretty much an MCR stan account. Um, and they sent me this DM. Please stop posting all the Gerard content. There's three other members, Ray Toro, Mikey Way, and Frank Iero. If you were a real fan, you'd also post those members instead of just posting Gerard. Also, when you posted that cover, you make yourself look so fucking stupid because you didn't even know the lyrics. You were basically making fun of Gerard, Mikey, and their grandmother, Elena. Okay, first of all, that last line is like so crazy and delusional that I'm like, why am I even like entertaining this? How is it even disrespectful to the original video? For one thing, Helena has a different interpretation to me, especially the arc, both our, when our, both our cars collide. Like, that's a very, very deep meaning to me that, like, you don't know what that means to me. You don't know what those lyrics mean to me. And maybe it means, of course, it means something different to Gerard and Mikey and, like, all them. But, like, it means something so different to me, which is why I connect to that song so much, which is why it's a song I, like, do the most tributes to because that song, especially the, that line and that thing in my in my six feet under music video and I paid tribute to my chemical romance you see me wearing an MCR shirt at the beginning and during flashback then of course getting out of the casket is very Helena tribute but when they the I I die in the music video in a car crash basically and it has a very very specific meaning to me it means something very very special to me the, the song came out at a time when like literally like there's just a lot deeper meaning to it so to say I'm disrespecting them is like so bullshit I'm just gonna say that and bands make music for people to connect with. And even if you're connecting on a different level than what they intended it for or whatever the case may be, like, so that alone, it would, like, really pissed me off. Most of these are, like, funny, but that pissed me off. And then, of course, you made yourself look so stupid you didn't know the lyrics. Well, one, you know what? 
I don't know the lyrics to every MCR song. I'm sorry, I don't. But two, I do know all the lyrics to Helena. And if you watch behind the scenes, you can see that my editor clipped the parts where I just had the same head movements and not necessarily the same words as they were saying in the so like if I was saying like if I was singing like a verse he may have put that part in the chorus because I had the same head movement as him or something like that because I try to match it as close as I can obviously I wasn't doing an exact frame by frame replica like it could never have done that that would have been so hard but yeah when you posted the hot topic haul a few months ago you seemed like you only got those clothes and accessories because they were stylish not because you like the bands also that was about two and two to three years ago and yeah, I mean, some of the bands, I, yeah, I mean, sometimes I wear Nirvana things. Am I the biggest Nirvana fan? No, I don't really listen to them, but I like the style. MCR, I specifically said, like, I really like the stuff, especially the I'm Not Okay hat. I still love it because that's another song that really hits close to home for me. So, fuck off with that. Um, this is so crazy that we're even fighting because it's so crazy because this person's, like, a stand account, too. And, like, the fact that, like, we're even fighting with each other, like, we both are digging the same people. Like, what? Sorry, that headspace was like freaking me out. I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't like headspace. I don't know. Um, stop embarrassing yourself. I hope the band doesn't see your account. You make me want to commit. Because I'm a fan of a band. They have no association with me. I don't have any association with them. I'm just a fan of their music. Like... Your whole account is to bring awareness to MCR, to bring their music to a bigger audience. Like, I hope the band doesn't see your account with me posting pictures of someone that like I admire and like right now is getting me through like a hard time. Like, got me through a hard time when I was sixteen, getting me through a hard time now. Like, that's like a someone special, and so many people. We'll get to other hate comments, but that's like someone special. Like. And I know that sounds crazy to people who, like, can't relate, but this account should be able to relate. Like, if someone, like, helped you or saved you in life, and it, they may not, they, they don't even know you, they don't even know me. But, like, their music has helped me, they have helped me, like, the words they wrote have helped me. It's just so crazy. So that's, okay, so that's a, that's a special one. That was a DM. Let's go to the comments. Any Gerard Way picture I have posted, it's easy to find. Okay, so this one is just a pretty one of Gerard Way. It's an older photo of him, and I just said, the, the, the layer because I held you close as we both shook um, for my mouth. Okay, so let's just go to the comments on this one. So a lot of these comments right away I see being a fan of MCR but only interested in Gerard. Again, it's someone who is the front man of the group, someone I just connect with the words he's saying. Of course, I like the whole band and I think they're all so amazingly talented, but like, okay. So a lot of people, where's Ray, Frank, and Mickey? I didn't think I meant Mikey, but um, everyone's like, this is getting annoying. Poor Gerard. Um, I'm, let's see, poor Gerard. Is Gerard okay with this? Like, again, once again, I'm just posting photos of him that I find online. Like, I admire him. I look up to him. Like, when people post pictures of me, I think it's so cool and so flattering. Like, it's, people like to turn things into something that there are. It's, it's just so weird. Like, this one is, I'm disgusted. I'm revolted. I dedicate my entire life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is the thanks I get. Someone else, so stop. You aren't him and you basically made a mockery of him with that music video. So honestly, stop. It's so annoying and getting really old. Old. Stop posting Gerard all the time. It's only, it's annoying to see you use him for clout. So then here's another older photo I posted of him and I just put good morning. Again, I liked his face. I don't know. I like right now I'm going like through something that like reverting to 2005, which for those of you who don't know or or maybe unaware, Sometimes, like, I get, I'm stuck in 2000s. Like, it's very apparent with my bleach blonde hair and Playboy and, you know, Britney and flare jeans and high wedge flip flops. Like, I'm very juicy couture. I'm very stuck in that era. And a lot of people are like, this is really weird. Well, going through therapy, I have learned that, like, some people revert back to the year that trauma happened to them. So, like, whatever year some traumatic thing happened, you kind of revert back to that. Whether you're 3, whether you're 5, whether you're 15, whether you're 25. Like, if you had some sort of trauma, sometimes, sometimes, not everybody, but you can revert back to that year before the trauma happened. So, for me, 15 was kind of what somewhat of my last innocent year, I guess you could say, or innocence. Like, and not to say, like, my trauma's more traumatic than someone else's. Like, I'm not trying to compare that, but, like... I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm taking this seriously because it's like late at night and I'm like 
it, it's like it does affect me like this is crazy it's like it was kind of like a silly idea like oh my god reading mcr hate comments like it's so crazy like all these like 15 year olds are coming for me but like in at the end of the day like this does affect me and i feel like if anything i should educate 15 year old people because taunting people like this and stuff like you don't know what they're going through no matter what my age is maybe i'm too old to be doing this or whatever but like it's not cool and do you really think that all the guys in the band really would like appreciate you guys being like fuck you take this down i hope the band doesn't see it you should be embarrassed like it's so hurtful. It's so hurtful. And she's acting like she looks just like him. She really don't. She's just trying to get more clout for something she's not. I'm not saying I look like him at all. Like I literally did one um, like cosplay as him. So I don't know where that came from. I did a side by side. But do I think we look like identical? No. Do I think we look kind of similar? Sometimes. <laughs> um... So, I mean, and there are some people that are like, I'm living for these Gerard posts. Like some people, sorry, I'm like really greasy. I had such like a long day. Today was like a really bad day too. So I'm like getting really emo right now, like emotional about this stuff. But, um, so then I posted this photo. This is one of Gerard from high school and people got so pissed. I have over 1400 comments on this. Please stop posting pictures of Gerard. Um, Trisha, please stop it. How I delete someone else's account. Um, delete this before Gerard's legal team comes after you for use of personal information. Um, so to me, a lot of this stuff is like get a life and stop posting MCR stuff when you're not even following them. Do you even know all their names and following all of them? So that's also weird. So I was posting three of these photos in a row. It's of red haired Gerard, um, which I really connect with redhead era Gerard because this was him in his thirties. And when asked about it, he says, I just want, you know, I'm an artist and I'm a musician in his thirties. Like I feel like I, he like reverted back to art school like he didn't want to be the traditionally handsome person he just wanted to be creative and himself and whatever matured as a 30 year old so I posted that and I got so much hate on all of them oh my god Trish you didn't know he had an eating disorder during this time like all this crazy stuff so what's crazy is like three days later I posted a very current photo a relatively current photo of him from 2019 and then everyone got so mad at me because they thought I was like making fun of him okay as someone who goes up and down and weight a lot I don't notice other people's weight loss. I'm so into my own body and self-hatred for my weight gain and weight loss that like I don't pay attention to anyone else's. So for me, I look at this photo of Gerard and I see this exact same person as this Gerard. Like I really truly do and I think that's hard for anyone to understand that doesn't have like an eating disorder or a weight problem like and I'm not saying he does or anybody, but like some people can have a weight problem and they can be totally normal weight. They just are so obsessed with their weight. So as someone who has been obsessed with my weight my entire life, I don't notice other people's weight loss, weight gains in a photo. So for people to be like, the only reason I post that photo is because be like, you're only posting old photos of dry. And I was like, well, let me post a current one because current or old, that guy's the same. Cause it's not, it's not like I want to like bang this guy. It's not when I want to like marry this guy. Like, like this is like a, di a different connection. Like it's like this soul connection. Like I have feel with Elvis. Like obviously I don't want to bang Elvis. He's dead, but I have like this like soul connection with him do you know what I mean and I don't know I feel like only certain people would know what I mean but yeah so a lot of just like I feel like you're just trying to piss everyone off at this point um this is sad because he was struggling so much during this time like even when I'm struggling during things like that's a part of my life like if he's overcome this stuff like you know and here's the thing I don't really get so deep into like knowing like how he was feeling at each era of it I listen to Black Parade and like I have a different takeaway from it. And I feel like that's what's great about music is everyone has a different interpretation. So yeah. All right, let's go to my Helena music video because holy shit did I get ripped apart. So, <laughs> oh, I typed in Helena My Chemical Romance as if like I was gonna just pop up Trisha. <laughs> and this was all done out of love. Um, obviously all the money goes towards the people who own the song. I get no money from it. So it's just a completely fan made video. Top comments. Um, imagine sexualizing a song about someone's dead grandmother. So this one I really didn't like either. I already explained my connection to the song, but also like how am I sexualizing it? I, I like really want to know because I was dressed like him, cosplay. Um, I guess the only somewhat sexiness was the coffin outfit, which is my interpretation of how my funeral would go. Um, and then I just put dancing videos from my past years when I used to dance. So I didn't like that. Um, I don't want to say I hate it because this would be offensive to the word hate. I think Gerard should push personally ban this from ever being seen by another human being. I can't believe you do MCR wrong like this. MCR reunites. Trisha makes this video. MCR. All right, we're going to head out. 
Sorry to everyone who's a fan of MCR that lives in California. I don't think they're coming back after watching this. This wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was, then it hit me. It's because she's not singing. Imagine making a song that someone, about someone's grandmother sexual. Like, what the fuck? Again, I don't know how that was sexual because I'm a girl, because I'm a female. I have a curvier body type than the girl who played Elena in the video. Like, you know what I mean? Like, anyways. I'm not into bashing people usually, but this is trash and she looks like a goth troll doll. This is why people hate emos. They think we are all like this. Again, I'm not claiming I'm emo. I don't really follow an emo lifestyle. Like, I think I shop at Hot Topic mainly for MCR merch and that's about it. This is literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I can't unsee it. I hate it. And also, if you want to talk emos, if you want to talk about emo, have you seen my channel? Who cries more than this bitch? Just because I don't have like a hair soup or a nose ring or a tattoo, like I'm not emo? Check yourself when it comes to emotion. Who's cried more than this bitch online? I'm emo queen of the scene of 2019 or 2020, whatever year we're in. Um, yeah, again, a lot of sexualizing comments. Um, I swear if one of the members sees this, they're going to break up. This would have been better if she sang it herself. This is just pure torture. Shisha Paytas is a 30 year old woman talking about MCR like there's some classic rock band from the 80s when the majority of MCR fans are old enough to remember and have gone to the last time MCR toured less than a decade ago. Um, Trisha Paytas photoshopping Mikey out of MCR pictures. Again, it was just cool images and the what came up, okay. Um, you're waiting for MCR to come on stage to play their show. Then Trisha Paytas in a full Gerard cosplay approaches you and pushes you. She says, MCR is my era, okay? If anyone's gonna be all high and mighty on my fucking horse, it's gonna be me. I'm 30, I deserve MCR. Trisha Paytas backstage at MCR. Um, I appreciate the MCR, MCR love, but not like this, Trisha, just no girl. Go away, the MCR fandom doesn't want you. Within the past week, Trisha Paytas has made 10 separate posts about Gerard, and I just want answers at this point. Please leave MCR alone. You ruined MCR for me. Um, a lot of jokes about me not knowing who they are. MCR at Trisha Paytas when they find out about her coming out as trans. Okay. So, can Trisha Paytas literally shut up? I'm not allowed to like MCR because I'm only 16. I'm hopping on the bandwagon. Sorry, I've been listening to them for four years, but go off, I guess. It's mad disrespectful, and I still don't get how she doesn't even know the words to Helena. Like, okay. So the only reason I'm saying this is good, again, because people are like attacking me as if I'm like, I don't know, whatever. Okay, boomer. <laughs> but um, okay, on a serious note, so then I did see some of that stuff about like, you know, they're very like obviously LGBTQ plus friendly as everybody is in this world in this day and age of 2020. But the other thing is I, and this is such a top, sensitive topic and I, I hate to bring this up again, but I feel like I really have to, is like I have always related to Gerard specifically because he has talked about gender identity issues that he struggled with in the past that when he was growing up he was considered a girl to a lot of his, his classmates considered him like a girl and stuff like that and so it like kind of like triggered him or like he thought that way or he thought maybe he was trans and I feel like no one really has had ever like spoke about that from a position of I wouldn't consider him trans I wouldn't consider him having transitioned. So I thought that was interesting to hear someone who's still cisgender talking about thoughts of being transgender because not everyone feels that way and not everyone questions that. But I really always like like that he talked out about that and spoke out about that. And this was after, like when I would see him in the band, I literally thought he was just like a pretty guy. Like guys always wear eyeliner and makeup and stuff. And I thought, oh, he's just like pretty. Like, you know, I never thought he's questioning his gender or having struggles with that kind of stuff. So it was like another thing that I connected with him throughout like the years. So it's like, I know this sounds crazy. And again, I'm like 31 and it's like, I just know like, this is what makes me feel good. So it's like what I'm like putting out there into the world. It's like helping me. You guys know I go through phases, obviously Beetlejuice and all. I go through a lot of phases and it's because at that moment in time, that's helping me so much that I'm like addicted to that because you guys know I've had trouble. I've been addicted to prescription drugs and um, I've had issues with alcohol. I've had issues with illicit drugs. And I just, for me, I want to rather be addicted to something that's healthy for me. Obviously I have a food addiction. I have a love addiction. And so grasping to things in pop culture that really make me happy I, I kind of squeeze as much as I can out of that and MCR has been that like I said I've, it, I have a consistent track record not that it matters it could it could totally be a phase and that's totally fine too but I've had a consistent track record of these 
to something that inspired me in like a lot of ways and um and it started with the Helena song um and obviously just following them throughout the years and stuff so I don't know it's making me happy I'm rediscovering them and I'm also learning a lot more about them because I am like I there's a lot that I don't know so when people are like I bet you don't even know this like sometimes I don't you know sometimes I'm like oh that is something new like did I know he had a fear of needles no like but that was something I discovered I was like that's fucking cool so I don't know I guess the bottom line is like I get it like I'm I'm hated on the internet like I used to troll a lot and people don't want to ever look past that or forgive me or like accept that I maybe try to change in some ways but at the end of the day like I'm still a human and I'm not an evil person. I'm not an awful person. Like, you know, I, I don't know why I can't just enjoy something that you also enjoy without having to ruin it or having the band break up or having you guys want to commit. Like, that's so harsh and that's so harsh to put on somebody. Like, it actually makes me feel bad and it really makes my heart heavy. And I struggle very much with like, oh my God, maybe I need to like not be so hardcore into this, but it's what makes me happy. It's like what is driving my creativity at the moment. So anyways, <laughs> not to get all melodramatic, but that's but thank you guys for the comments and like I said there are a lot of you that are like I'm living for this this is so great I love that you're an MCR stand account I love that you're a Gerard stand account and um yeah and like just because I'm a female doesn't mean and I work in I do adult content it doesn't mean I sexualize everything just because I'm that at work doesn't mean I'm sexualizing that like that's so crazy to me and that's it's it's sad it's very like sexist and very slut shaming and all that stuff like that but that's a whole other video but just know like these are your people this is the leader of the broken you know what I mean this is the people that are like all the outcasts can come here and whether I look like an outcast or not like that's how I am that's how I feel that's how I'm being treated right now it's like you you should like be embracing people right like I embrace everyone like like what you like when you like it if you like it for a week if you like it for 15 years like cool cool shit like let's all go rock out together to songs that make us feel like we're not alone and what we're feeling but anyways all right i'm gonna go ahead and go i love you guys i hope you have a great day night whenever this goes up and i will see you guys in my next week bye guys